Hi there friends, today we're going to be reading a book called The Butterfly Alphabet Book and it is by Brian Cassie and Jerry Pilata. Now, we're actually not going to read the entire book during this video because it's really long, so I'm going to read up till the letter M because there are 26 letters in the alphabet, so I'm going to read half of the letters and then we're going to go ahead on and finish the other half of the book so that you guys can be able to watch this without having to sit for a really long time. Are you ready? So yes, the Butterfly Alphabet book, and it has a pretty cover, and even the back cover is pretty. Let's go. A is for Apollo. Apollo butterflies are the high-flying champions of the butterfly world. They have been seen almost four miles up in the mountains of Asia. That's the letter A, uppercase and lowercase. B, B is for Baltimore checker spot. If you have ever played checkers, then you probably already know how the checker spot butterflies got their name. This butterfly has the same colors as the Baltimore Oriole bird and the Baltimore Orioles baseball team, orange, black, and white. So it has it's like a checkerboard, different spots. C. C is for cracker. Have you ever heard a noisy butterfly? Crackers usually fly without making a sound. When disturbed, though, these butterflies make cracking sounds with their wings. D. D is for dog face. When it is flying in a meadow, the dog face looks like many other yellow butterflies, but when it lands, the poodle faces on its wings are easy to see. Can you see that? It looks like a poodle face on either side. Nobody knows how these beautiful insects got the name butterfly. Do you know? I don't. E. E is for Eastern comma. This butterfly loves a sunny spot in the woods. When it folds its wings, you can see a comma on its underside. There is another butterfly called a question mark we could not find one named an exclamation point or a period. So let's see, where's, oh, I could see a little comma here. See that? F. F is for falcate orange tip. Some butterflies have hard names to remember, but not the orange tips. Orange tips fly in the springtime before most other butterflies. The word falcate means its wings are curved and pointed. Take a look. So they're curved and they're pointed at the top. G, right here G, is for great purple hair streak. All kinds of hair streaks and other beautiful butterflies lo love small flowers that grow in clusters like the lantana on this page. Planting especially to attract butterflies is called butterfly gardening. So it's the color purple right there. H. H is for harvester. This picture has two harvester butterflies and two harvester caterpillars. Where are the caterpillars? Believe it or not, they are under the white fuzzy stuff, which is really a lot of small bugs called woolly aphids. Harvester caterpillars don't eat leaves. They eat the aphids they hide under. Interesting. So they eat these different aphids. I. I is for Indian leaf butterfly. The Indian leaf butterfly is perfectly camouflaged. Can you find it? It looks like a leaf on a twig, but you could walk by and never notice it. Is this it? Is this it? Whoop! Oh, here it is. Pretty cool. J. J is for Jezebel. Jezebels do not like to blend in. Many kinds of Jezebels brighten the roadside in Australia with their red yellow, black, and white wings. You got the red spots, yellow, and then the black and white. They're colorful. K, right here, is for Kama, Kamahamaha. Kamahamaha. Hawaii is the only home of the Kamahamaha butterfly. It is named after a famous Hawaiian king. Looks like a beautiful place. L. L is for life cycle. The life cycle of every butterfly begins with an egg being laid on the surface of a plant. 
almost all female butterflies lay their eggs on a certain on certain preferred plants. The Gulf fritillary lays eggs only on the leaves of a passion flower vine. Its caterpillar hatches from the egg and begins eating the leaf on which it was born. There we go. So here is life cycle. They begin with an egg, hatch into a caterpillar, okay, they eat the leaves that it was born on. After growing and shedding its skin several times, the caterpillar pupates into a chrysalis. There's a chrysalis. Before long, the adult gulf fritillary emerges from the chrysalis to start the cycle all over again. So it's going to lay some eggs and uh, yeah, start the whole process over again. L. L is also for lady slipper. Deep in the tropical rainforest, lady slippers fly along shady forest trails. Lady slippers almost always fly within a few inches of the forest floor. Very cool. M is for Magdalena Alpine. High up in the Rocky Mountains, we find this all black butterfly. Because the color white reflects light and the color black absorbs light, the Magdalena Alpine's black wings keep it warm. M. See the black butterfly? All right, well, we have come to the end of this first video, this half of the book. Let's review the letters and we're going to practice the sounds that the letters make because that will help you to learn to read. A says ah, like ant. B says b, like bunny. C says k, like cut. D says d, like dog. E says e, like elephant. F says f, like fire. G says g, like good. H says h, like help. I says i, like igloo. J says j, like jump. K says k, like kick. L says l, like lick. This is also L. M says m, mm, like mountain. So, and it's, it's on the mountains, okay? Anyway, thank you for watching part one. And you can go ahead and find part two. And we're going to find out about both the rest of this book and the rest of the letters. I found this in our school library. You probably can find it there if you go to our school or in a public library. Or if you like it a lot, you can purchase this book. You can buy it and read it whenever you want. I'll see you in part two. Thanks for watching. Bye. S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. Subscribe.